Well, if you're a doodler and you used to get shit for it, I wonder who doodles here. Uh, you may feel vindicated because there's a new study that suggests that if you doodle, it actually helps you focus and you'll listen and you'll retain more. So according to this new study that will soon be published in the journal Applied Cognitive Psychology, psychologist Jackie Andrade, what she did, this is a small study, but listen to the results. So she took 40 participants, 20 and 20, divided them up equally. She had them listen to this really long, boring voicemail. And the voicemail was pretty much this lady so talking about like, you know, doing some updates to her kitchen. And then she was going to have some people over. And so after this long, boring voicemail, the 20 people that were doodling, and what she did is she had a piece of paper with like squares and circles. And they that's how she asked them to doodle. She didn't want anybody to have like a preconceived notion of what doodling would be. And then they'd be distracted. So the people that were filling in the squares and the circles doodling, those people, according to the results, uh, those that recall, they recalled 7.5 pieces of information out of the 16 total pieces that she had hoped that they would retain on average, and 29% more than the average of the ones in the control group, which only uh, remembered 5.8 pieces. So 5 point pieces of information versus 7.5 pieces of information. She thought that was uh, pretty outstanding uh, results. And she said, why does doodling aid memory? She says here, quote, the most persuasive one is that when you doodle, you don't daydream. And daydreaming may seem absent-minded and pointless, but it actually demands a lot of the brain's processing power. Thoughts, five words or less. What, sorry, I was distracted. <laughs> that was mine. Grew doodling, I scribble. I did a doodle. I doodle the same. When I do, when I doodle, it's always the same basic bitch thing. What, what is it? Like, basic bitch. Like thing. a fucking heart <laughs> over and over, like a heart, or like a sunflower or a sun, like total basic bitch <laughs> stuff. Wow. What is the difference between a doodle and a scribble? Because I uh, agree with you, but I think you should explain it to our viewers. Well, oh, that's a good question. Yeah, you know, well, ever since I was been known as being an angry black man, I mm -hmm. realized that the aggressiveness that it takes to scribble is way more satisfying to my soul <laughs> than it does to so doodle. A, so <laughs> you're like, scribble is like an no, angry yeah, doodle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But after months of therapy, I've realized that I prefer now in 2016 to just write my signature over and over again. That I have, is I have, sev I have several, shut up, Brett. I have several <laughs> different ways of writing my signature and the current version is just J dot. And it's so Ooh. satisfying. I'm kidding, like you guys. <laughs> scribbling, scribbling is just, I, I just like to color in things versus drawing. I like to like, okay, so do you ever get a paper that has a lot of um, O's or zeros and color in all the zeros and all the O's in the paper? Yep. Yeah. I yeah. do. Yep. Yeah. It feels and so satisfying. It does. You're right. right. But and does it help you focus? Totally, because mm -hmm. I go to these boring ass meetings at work every Sunday and my boss talks incessantly for an hour. And when I'm doodling, ignoring him, I'm really listening because I can recite everything he said prior to. Interesting, so it works for you. Do yeah. you doodle, do you scribble? Here's what it's like. Or do you daydream? Here's what it's like inside your head. We all have a three-year-old jerk child in our brains that's like, nah, nah, I want to pay attention to me, I love it. And that's usually also be like, think about airplanes, think about coffee, just like everything, blah, 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 blah. And when you doodle, you're giving that stupid ADD shithead of a child like a toy to play with so that you can focus on other stuff. And that's exactly what it is. It's just you're, you're saying, all right, fine, you do something. Here's a creative outlet for that part, that, that um, random accent, what's it called? The, the, the free roaming attention in your brain. Because that's happening. You have two different kinds of attention. You have one that's focused on the through line and another thing that's just open to anything. It's the same thing that wakes you up. It's the same thing that like a, bu a bug flies by your ear while you're talking, like happens here pretty much every three minutes. And you're just like that. More than that. But if you tie that up with, um, with something else, or if the other thing is to give you that really intense stimulation that's able to make it so you don't no longer have that like random floating attention. That's why when you're playing video games, which are such an immersive experience that bombard you with every possible kind of information, you'll sit there and you'll look up and it'll be three hours later. Yeah. Because every possible free floating attention span you had was given something to do. Grace. Oh, um, do you, you know, doodle? Do you I, scribble? I did, I did doodle. What do you a little doodle? Bit. What do you doodle? I don't really 
No. Are they circles? No, I are used they... to draw scenes uh, from movies that I like. As you're wait. listening to conversation? <laughs> so wait, I wasn't a good doodler, but my fifth grade teacher uh, was Mrs. Heather. She was awesome, and she would give us papers if, when she was teaching a lesson if, she, if we wanted to doodle, because she felt, so even before the study came out, she felt that she had evidence that her students would learn more when they were doodling and whatnot. But then if she saw us like just passing notes, then it was super different. But I took that with me through high school, and I would really look forward to the daydreams that I would have from my doodles. I was a terrible student. So I just I just used all of that. I was like, oh, I can doodle while the teacher is talking and zone that out. While I am doodling, I will now engage with this daydream about a pretty girl I have a crush on, and that's what I would do. Interesting. And I, and I, I, uh, uh, I was You're a little bad. bit of both. It was super bad. That's but, funny. But I like doing it, though. Yeah, OK. All right. Sam, I want to see one of your basic bitch drawings. Me though. Too. Like, like, They're probably all on those today. papers. And I, well, I just, <laughs> your little well, I just go over them and over them, and then at the end of the phone conversation, I'll, there'll be like a heart oh. with like 300 heart lines over it. So it's a really big, puffy heart. All right, please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.